Good morning, everyone. Simon Holden here, the Sheriff of Tippingham, and it is Thursday, the 21st of April, and it's just coming up to 9.45 a.m. in the morning. Well, yesterday, I'm afraid, um, how can I put it, our horse didn't uh, actually, um, well, uh, come out the stalls. So the others had gone. That's the second time it's happened to me in two days, and it's the vagaries of punting, and it will happen again and again, hopefully, but not for ages. So I have no idea what happened. Absolute farce up there at Catrick Bridge. But we move on, we move on, we move on. And I'm on the comeback trail. At the top link, you'll see a Beverly card marker. Now, card marker has uh, done the business in devastating style, but it didn't last night. And I'm on the comeback trail. Uh, but I've had, still had 400 to 1 trebles, 300 to 1 trebles, 270 to 1 trebles. Winners are up to 40 to 1 and places are up to 80 to 1. So I ain't giving up after one bad night at Salisbury. So if you're with me, we go up to East Yorkshire for a big card and we're going to like give it the works there. It's the top link. It's a five, but there's all sorts of big prices. Um, and I got a good feeling about today. I'm still smarting from last night, but uh, let's do it. Let's do it now. Um, I'm going to go up to Warwick in the 4.30 for our YouTube bet. Now, just very quickly before that, I won't be back on here tonight as planned. I won't be back on here tomorrow morning. The next uh, Holden Sources video will be HHV The Judge tomorrow night. And it's a, always a good time to join the channel if you're watching, not a member, because when HHV The Judge is done, we upload it. It's not a set time. Try and get it on by about 7, 7.30. Uh, but if you're a member, you'll get your notification. So click that notification bell. Don't say that often. I know it gets tiresome for people who are members, but it is important. So give me the thumbs up if you're going to do that. Give me the thumbs up if you already are a member of the channel. Right, let's go to the 4.30 at Warwick. It's a racing TV profits return to racing. So it should be a handicap chase. It's a class four over three miles. Very competitive race, I felt this. Uh, Trickster, by the way, so many jobs meetings today. I thought it was a flat season. Uh, Trickster is the four to one favourite. He won last time. He's gone up. I think he's going to struggle under a penalty. San Augustin is joint favourite. Uh, he's been uh, well tipped up everywhere. I think he's plenty short enough. Frisco Bay is a horse that's often punted and never wins. And I'm going to go top of the shop here on a horse that's finished third in his last four races. But I think they've been better races. I think he loved the pace of this race. I think he loved the track. I think he loved the conditions of it. Uh, it's Stuart Edmonds, who I absolutely love. It's number one. It's Young Offender. He's available at 11 to 2 with William Hill. And Bet365 is going to look now. Anybody else going 11 to 2? No, they are not, sir. Uh, so, quarter the odds three places. Obviously, we know he's consistent and usually places. So, there's, there's kind of like an inbuilt safety net in that. But I think he's got a real chance of winning here. There's a few uh, who don't like winning. Uh, one who does like winning is Max Dynamo. But his winning run came to an end last time out. He was third. And I think he might have to wait a while to resume winning ways. So, I think this might cut up. And I think Young Offender's got a great chance of getting back on the score sheet. There are any stalls. So we know it's going to start. We don't want any this rearing up nonsense. We want a fair crack of the whip. So join me at Beverly. Card marker ain't gone away after one bad night at Salisbury. Believe me. So join me there. Um, and the thing is, as well, we're going to look at two huge races tomorrow. HHV, the judge, Friday night. The weekend starts here. Keep it, HFC. I've got some massive news to tell you tomorrow night, so make sure you're watching. Have a great day. Come on, the young offender. We don't like young offenders generally. We like people who obey the law. But on this occasion, we are behind young offenders.